How's it going guys? And I'm back with an all new CD update. And uh, these first two are my pickups from Hot Topic at the Huntington Mall, which I showed in my uh, Out on the Town video last month. And this is the latest one from Marilyn Manson called Born Villain. And <clears throat> it's uh, definitely a pretty good CD and it sucks that it doesn't come with a booklet and that you have to go to the uh, Born Villain website to get lyrics for the CD. And... Uh, it comes with a hidden bonus track, which is uh, their cover of Carly Simon's You're So Vain, which blows away Faster Pussycat's version. And uh, the uh, song is also uh, produced by, uh, well, uh, one of the producers on the song is none other than Johnny Depp, and he also plays guitar and uh, drums on the song also. And this is the latest one from Cannibal Corpse called Torture, and uh, this is definitely a pretty good CD. I mean, I like uh, both uh, singers from Cannibal Corpse, Chris Barnes and George Corpse Grinder Fisher, and I haven't been following up on Cannibal Corpse, to be honest. I do have some of their CDs. I think this is the follow-up to Kill, which came out in two th 2008, and... Uh, thought I'd show the inside of it. And these next two are pickups from Overstock, and this is the 20th anniversary edition of Pantera's Vulgar Display of Power, and I basically just got this for the new song, Piss, which is pretty good, and I also got it for the DVD, which has five live songs and uh, the videos from Vulgar Display of Power and uh, this is the second Pantera CD to get a deluxe edition Cowboys from Hell got one a couple years back and uh, if Rhino uh, puts out uh, deluxe editions of their other CDs from Far Beyond Driven to uh, Reinventing the Steel then I'm definitely gonna buy them I had heard uh, three years back that there was going to be a box set from Pantera, but uh, so far I haven't heard anything else. And uh, finally picked up uh, Mastodon's The Hunter. I definitely enjoy this band. I saw them at Ozfest in 2005, and this is the explicit version of The Hunter. Um, and I got this for 12 bucks, and it's really ironic that this was uh, 12 something while the uh, clean version was a few bucks more, like 18 bucks, which I thought was ridiculous. And these next two are pickups from Walmart, and this is the latest one from Fear Factory, which I got for 10 bucks, called The Industrialist. And <clears throat> you know what you're going to get from this band. Definitely a mix of. <clears throat> heavy uh, thrash like music with industrial music and uh, they have uh, changed over the years I mean at first I mean I'm sure some of you who've heard Soul the New Machine uh, know that they started out really heavy before they became melodic and to me Fear Factory is a mix of God Flesh and Napalm Death and the band just doesn't disappoint I mean saw the band at Ozfest and 99 and I met Dino Casares who's uh, been back in the band since uh, Mechanize and last but not least I got this for five dollars in the CD bin and this is T-Rex Electric Warrior and this is classic 70's glitter rock and I have a um, recorded copy of a greatest hits tape of his and <clears throat> really glad to pick up uh, one of their CDs. This has got uh, Get It On, Bang A Gong on it and the song Jeepster which is also featured in that uh, Death Proof uh, movie from Grindhouse. That's been it for this uh, update and I'd like to end this by showing a couple of CDs, well a CD and a CD box shit. I meant cassette and a cassette tape box set. And I'd like to give a shout out to the Cassette Tape Society on Facebook. And <clears throat> this is uh, Sheila E. in the Romance 1600. And I forgot I had this. I had this in my desk drawer. Those of you who haven't seen them, uh, 
should know that I put out a four-part video on my cassette tape collection a year ago and I had a glamorous life but uh, it got eaten anyway this has got uh, Love Bazaar on it and I think I have the uh, 45 of that uh, still up in the building somewhere anyway I'm sure some of you know that she's a protege of Prince and she was definitely the bomb back then I mean she could sing and play drums and uh, last but not least, I got this over at uh, Odd Lots back in 86 before they became big lots for $3.99. And this is a uh, cassette, uh, six cassette set of uh, stories from Stephen King's Night Shift. And uh, this has nine stories on uh, six cassettes. And it comes with a booklet of uh, what the stories are about and they forward by... Uh, someone named John McDonald which is also featured uh, in the uh, Night Shift book and some of the stories are uh, The Boogeyman, Graveyard Shift, Jerusalem, Jerusalem's Lot and here's the inside of it well uh, that's been it for this video and I hope you all have enjoyed it until then, you all take care and have a good one.